Cities and colleges across the nation are navigating steep budget cuts. As we've been reporting, local colleges dealing with the same thing. UW Oshkosh cut roughly 200 staff to offset an $18 million deficit. Students tell us they're upset after those layoffs led to fewer staff working with students with disabilities. Tonight, Emily Byer hears from those students and UW Oshkosh to bring us both sides. Are you having delays with service? Not according to my uh, Dean of Students office. UW Oshkosh Chancellor Andrew Levitt says 6.6 .6 full-time equivalent positions, or roughly eight people, who worked with those students with disability needs was cut down to 3.6 full-time equivalent positions, or four people. Those employees were made aware of being laid off last October, and they were dismissed in January. UW Oshkosh students tell us they're feeling that loss. We formed our group as a response to feeling like the advocates here who were hired to help us mm -hmm. were not succeeding. Sophia Schneider, a member of UW Oshkosh Disability Advocates, says this is simple math. You can't have the same amount of students with special needs, conditions, or accommodations and have fewer staff members responding in a timely manner. So some of the issues that we are facing on campus um, is students with disabilities who are registered with disabilities aren't getting the reasonable accommodations met. Um, how we see it personally, I do not believe it's Chancellor, Chancellor Levitt's fault or Alex Hummel. I think it's a systematic issue um, and benign oversight, like them not knowing about it. According to the Universities of Wisconsin Services for Students with Disabilities annual report, it shows the number of students with disabilities dropped from the 2021 to 2022 school year to the 2022-23 school year from 845 students to 639 students. Because each student's needs are unique and can change, Chancellor Levitt estimates the school has roughly 800 students registered for services. He says the university is still keeping up with requests. So we're lo constantly looking at the data that is provided by the, the interactions of our students with the different services. What is the, what is the rate at which people are asking for note-taking, for instance, and how we're able to accommodate that, or uh, uh, the rate at which uh, folks need a uh, special environment for testing. All of those kinds of things, we're able to accomplish that in real time. Mm -hmm. But that's data that we collect and we can understand, and, and that's why we're confident that we can do this with fewer people working more efficiently. Meanwhile, students insist enough isn't being done. If they refuse to give those students accommodations, the person that they would go to is overstaffed. And so there is like a buildup of disabled students with issues that they, the people are overworked. Chancellor Levitt says he met with students at a town hall meeting after they took part in a walkout last week. He says they want to continue conversations with students who say they still have concerns about accommodations. In Oshkosh, Emily Byer, Action 2 News.